I think we're good. I think we're good. Hmm? I think we're good. Uh -huh. right. Where are you? Hi, I'm Daisy! <laughs> hey, yes, Kit, high level gameplay. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Kit for the the title, the stream title of high level yes. gameplay. This one should go pretty smoothly. All we have to do is get into Granini Gorky, or no, Grozny Grad. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, save Sokolov. That's it. We're done. The end yeah. of uh, Operation Snake Eater. Sure. It will go great. You'll have no problems whatsoever. In and out. Bada bing, bada boom. I have... <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. I have my doubts. You have your doubts? <laughs> well, as long as the Fury isn't there, I'm not going to have any issues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't know I actually might need to climb back down there I didn't get any extra I didn't get my thingy You're what? free no, I can't even go back down Oh well doesn't What he, thingy? Doesn't he give a A uh, Camouflage? I thought you did get it Did I? Okay, well Let's see Fly animals. Ah, uh, I don't think. I don't think he used the poop. No, we got that from a toilet. Just gave my lab myself a heart attack. Dropped my laptop on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Yeesh. Uh, I do know. I've I've dropped my my ThinkPad. I've gotten for work several times. Um, and that was uh. I mean, it's okay because it's not mine, <laughs> but also, like, those things are built pretty well. I hope your laptop's okay. Yeah. Is he turned around? No. I'm gonna wait. See, this is what high-level gameplay is all about. Oh, uh, The picture was a pixelated mess until I restarted. Yikes. <laughs> um... Yeah, apparently you are supposed to get fire yeah, I think camouflage I from him, which is useless except for a bo except for this boss battle you finished. Oh. Uh, good for repeat playthroughs, though. We did, um... Should have gotten it. Yeah. Uh, you stunned him all the way. Yeah, I, I just don't think you picked them off. I think it was it in the hallway not. somewhere and I didn't pick it up. You don't get it automatically. Alright, watch this. Those Gadoosh. Yeah. I don't see anybody else, so I assume there's no one else, and I will be fine to get this guy. I mean, uh... Who's that? It's Croc! <laughs> Imagine, that. Imagine that. You're shooting this guy with a Croc <laughs> helmet on. And I he's mean, just running towards you after. <laughs> what would you do? I probably dip out. I don't know. <laughs> You're like, I'm not paid enough for this. <laughs> it was going so well, but this is all part of the all, all part of the plan. We're okay. We are okay. No one inside will know. Ha! I oh. bumped into somebody. <laughs> Ryan, I might bump Once you. I open the door. We'll might bump you down a little bit. You seem louder than Katie. I don't think I should be. No, yeah, I think you're fine. I think I actually had Ryan's volume boosted a little bit before for one reason or another. Hmm. Oh, that's for what. Sleepy Pants Ryan? Maybe Sleepy <laughs> Pants Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they're just gonna, if I'm, if they, I'm just gonna walk right in. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> like I didn't. I mean, obviously the alarms. 
I didn't see really anything like any bullets hitting you. Right. Um, also, mm -hmm. since these people in here haven't seen me yet, I don't know if Rykov's a good idea in here. Not right away. I should be okay as long as the scientist doesn't see me. Maybe I should take the helmet that... Wait, it's still yeah. on! It is on. Oh, did... Uh-oh. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I, I don't think it works right now when you're in the alert. Well, the, the alert was going down, so I figured they hadn't seen me yet. That man was right there. It was going down is my point, though. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it's good to try. I'll just be naked. Do I have a box naked. equipped? Yes, I do. Naked. Oh. <laughs> high level gameplay. High level gameplay. Hello, hi, how are you? Hello. Not gonna see any snake today because I'm gonna not die. <laughs> No, your naked box. Oh, this worked. I mean, I personally would question why this box is not up with all the others. Perfectly but... in, yeah. I mean, yeah. Someone fell over there. Did you hear that? Huh? What? 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 What are you? It's still going down. Maybe, maybe he doesn't know. Just. He, it doesn't. He doesn't know. It's still going down. No, but you're Keep pretending. Your box. Hey, I don't know if you. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> hey, you got a mouse trap. Take us. him out. So weird. Ooh. Wow! Look at that spin you did too. Yeah, that's high level gameplay. That's what you come <laughs> here for. Too bad your box is dead now. You get yeah. it? No. No. Oh, now I can do the scientist. Yeah. I mean, you got like five. Well, you'd have to re-equip one, but the one that he was using is now destroyed. Oh, do I have more boxes? If you picked up more boxes. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't uh, think I did. Nope, I do not. Yeah, well. Cool. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I have SIG gas spray, so we're good. Only All right, but... box. You were good to us. Who put on Raiden? Not, no, not yet. yet. Not, not here. Oh. Uh, that will become... Oh, that... right. You have to be Officer Raiden. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll just chill in here until this caution goes down. Yeah. Everybody uh, was talking about their drinks before. Well, me and Katie were, um, but that was off stream. Uh, what is everybody drinking tonight? Um, I have my amaretto, but I got finally got some orange juice with it. So mix those. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Is it it amaretto stone sour? Like just mm -hmm. an almond liqueur. Yeah. It's a very sweet. Yeah, amaretto's good. Yeah, amaretto stone sours, um, so amaretto and orange juice are really tasty. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, look what Kit's drinking. Milk with Kaula. Kalua. Kalua? Sake and, and amaretto. Amaretto is really good. I, I don't have a lot of ingredients, so uh, I just... Is Kalua rum? Sorry. It's like a cha... Chocolate? Uh, like a chocolate liqueur? Uh, it's used in white see. Russians. It is a liqueur. Uh, it's a coffee liqueur. Let's. Oh, that, that's what it was. Um, coffee infused rum. Hey, wait. <laughs> my vulture's still good. Oh, nice. <gasps> Eat it. Okay. 
coffee. Oh, wait, did we ask what's her name about it? Yeah, we did. Paramedic? We about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, drink contains rum, sugar, 100% Arab Arabica coffee. Nice. Yeah, now I remember she was saying how they eat carcasses, human carcasses sometimes, and yourself mm -hmm. and Snake didn't really care. Salted caramel yeah. Kahlua. Ooh. Delicious. Ooh. Uh, I don't have any ingredients, so I threw some whiskey in some Arizona green tea <laughs> uh, with honey. Does that taste good? It's fine. Okay. It tastes like iced tea and Whiskey honey. Whiskey <laughs> and Arizona tea. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes how you think it would taste. It it uh, it makes drinking the the whiskey easier. It was mm. the last of my Jim Beam that I've had for like three years. So. Uh, All right, let's make. How sure do you this. make a Manhattan? Is that what? My dad likes making Manhattan. Yeah, my dad really. My likes. parents serve real. There he is. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, Manhattan. It's. Let's see. I believe it's uh, made with yeah whiskey and sweet vermouth, not much and. Bitters. Yeah, and bitters. There's a uh, pretty much whiskey and like a dash of this and a dash of that. I believe mm -hmm. it's pronounced uh, Manhattan. Um, and actually, other common whiskey bourbon. Bourbon is what they. Yeah, I like bourbon. I like bourbon more than whiskey. Well, I, guess. I guess they're in the same. Yeah. See, what's? I mean, it, it's a bourbon whiskey. That's what it is. But it's bourbon is usually a sweeter. Are right, you ready? You ready to to grab this loser? Yeah. This is perfect. It is the main uh, in my for test Google, run. Which uh, is mental flaw. Oh, what? Um, per Google, uh, uh, mental flaws. The main difference between Scotch and whiskey is uh, geographic, but here. also ingredients and spellings. Uh, scotch is whiskey made in Scotland, mm -hmm. while bourbon is whiskey made in the USA, uh, generally Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, scotch is made most from malted barley, while bourbon is distilled from corn. Mm hmm. I didn't know uh, dudes came up here. Oops. I mean, it's the locker room. Mm, yeah. All I'm saying is, uh, in my possible run before this, they did not have any dudes up here. <laughs> no. Maybe the timing was off because you set the alert off before. Maybe you're right. Just salty about it right now. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You get to go to sleep now, too. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know what's tomorrow? Oh no! Apparently I'm breaking up. A little bit, yeah. That does sound like it's like a... Like a sound, um... Like you have your... What? You have had a dart in your hand for like 30 seconds. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's... I'm kind of no! surprised that man was not... Oh, you got locked out of your own room! <laughs> mm, Jesus Christ. Um, thanks for pointing that out, kid. I think, Ryan, you just have to change your threshold. Threshold. Yeah. Okay, I've adjusted. It's probably yeah, too. Yeah, I think it was just like a second, like picking up your voice, and it took like a second for it to catch up. All right, this is going great. Yeah, you're fine now. Wait, I heard. Who? Jesus, where? Where? They see you, you the window. Fucker. Oh, boo! <laughs> Put him in a locker. Oh, he Nerd. Is. Yeah, nerd. All right, I will put him in the locker. <laughs> let's find <laughs> let's find one that opens. Thanks for the ointment. I think the only one, I think there's only one that opens. I, for some reason, uh, disagree, Katie. I don't know why. I thought it was just the one with the red marking on it. You might be right um, <laughs> normally, but. Uh, whatever. <laughs> we'll take Raiden out and then put him in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come get third times the charm. What? Oh, there's a tree. Yeah. Oh my God! There was more <laughs> scientists <laughs> over there. In the window. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so that's three for three maps that I have caused an alarm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> his thighs look so small. I know, his thighs aren't to scale. Well, it's well, not the same obviously guy. Obviously, that's a intruder, Raiden. Yeah, it's it's not legit Raiden, so he hasn't worked them up yet. Or that's like Raiden's like grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you putting clothes on? Oh right. It's part of the game. Down. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> High level gameplay is this kid. You want <laughs> you want to see uh, you want to see really cool riding. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Look how cool he is now. <laughs> Wait, now you can do it where you it's, go against the wall and do the push-ups. There you Leg go. Leg push-ups. Oh no! Nope, nah, Snake still does it wrong. <laughs> he oh, still does it right. down on he's, one knee. Yeah. He's doing more of a dinosaur Absolutely. walk. You're right. See, now it opens. Now you can open them all. Weird. Yeah, that man is gone. I know. We should go beat one up. <laughs> nah, let's not risk it. <laughs> uh. Huh? Can I check all the lockers? Shoko. Will they have anything? Ah, oh, they might have stuff. I love the little lightning bolt. Yeah. Um, Raiden's thong. <laughs> oh. You picked those two lockers. And those were the only open lockers that's, in that row first. That's part of nice the high level job. gameplay. <laughs> What's that? Turn all. All right. All right. Okay. Whatever. His body does fall out, though, if you try to open the same locker. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hello, Mitch Senna. Snake eater. Hello. That's kind of. It's not. I mean, kind of. That is not. You're right. You're right, Ryan. Yeah, he bends the knee. Doesn't bend the knee. He does have bigger legs with the jod purse, but it's not the same. I really should have a sound on my soundboard for just Snake Eater. <laughs> I thought you did that. No. I have this. It didn't play. Sir. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? <laughs> Oh, you know why? Because I didn't save it. Aww. Oh, well. You're busted. It's fine. There you go. That's that's fine for now. Close enough. That's that's Rykov saying that. <laughs> why would you write, take off the mask now? I know. And so violently. That looks like that hurt. Yeah. Here's the microfiche. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? Yeah. I don't know anything about that. There it is. <laughs> what are you? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Mitch then I hear silence. Yep. What's the matter? <laughs> Specifically coded on the soundboard for nothing. <laughs> nothing, I swear it. No one but the colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. Why is she threatening him with lipstick? Because it's supposed to be like a gun. Like How's a spy a gun? gun. There's like a lipstick. Like a spy, spy gun. gun. He's dumb. <laughs> wow. Hey, Eva. I mean, oops. <laughs> wow. He. Wow. That's like how I played hide and seek, and you found me all the time, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? 
like somebody hid under it's like a bathroom cupboard and we just never found them. <laughs> I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. Exactly. The final preparation. Snake, you got caught like two. ten times on the way here. Of course you're too late. Sokolov, <laughs> exactly is phase two. To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. In English? Uh, <laughs> he's gonna ask anyways, like don't tell him in technical the turns, it's snake. Was originally designed <laughs> as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. That was too long of a sentence for him it's to form into a question afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'll just keep quiet and yeah. the man can keep hopefully talking. Hopefully he'll tell me. ...are simply too big for the Shagohog to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. In another time. That is when I In another world. The idea for phase two. <laughs> but there's no way you could load That's him, right? The yeah, it's yeah. Bill Cummings. So how yeah. do you do it? That's nice. Accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. He <laughs> taped on some rockets <laughs> to the <laughs> side. <laughs> Rocket, Not even duct tape, it's like masking tape on there. It's just masking. <laughs> it's just... The Shagohog can achieve a land speed of 300 miles like scotch tape. <laughs> those corners. Go more than 300 miles per hour. Yes. Wait, so their solution to shooting a missile was just to make the giant, giant tank go faster itself, too. Yep. Because mm -hmm. the they can't get the propulsion otherwise. Because they give it essentially a 300 mile per hour head start. Before they shoot it. Missile launched by the Shagohod, thus increases. Why didn't they just make it a spaceship? To six thousand miles. Six thousand miles. Oh, that's oh, big. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying uh, in secret. I don't know. I just kind of glanced yeah. over that part. Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that. As much as it is a Metal Gear, it looks like a giant crab. It does. Where the rest were dinosaurs, this was. This is a crab. Yeah. <laughs> The only one of its kind. <laughs> See, this giant enemy crap. The end of it. Yeah. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His oh. funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. But he just doesn't want to. The reason that tensions <laughs> between East and West have settled into a cold Third war is world because too far. each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If well, it. Such a weapon is unleashed on the world. Not as somebody what else. What if somebody else has it? Then, yeah, like. <laughs> Which isn't he mass producing them? America buys yeah. one from one of the third world countries they sell it to. Well, I guess then they're deterred. <laughs> like. <laughs> they had to pay a little extra, I guess. No. Yeah. On the eBay. It's not too Extra tariffs. Yeah. We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But that's it. Tell me what I, need I mean, that's to it. Destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The I want to know what that poster says on the wall. In a tank. 
If you can blow it up somehow. Since all thongs must be weared at all times. <laughs> C3. You mean that cutting edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory. And it says hey bro. It was stolen by a female spy. Who was here a minute ago? Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. Yeah, just give away her code name. name. Does she have? I thought she was your lover. My yeah. What? Oh, no, she is Volgin's lover. She lied to me. She lied to me. I saw her get like, electrocuted. I love this. <laughs> Who are they? My wife and daughter. Oh, okay. They're in America. I, was, I thought, was there another picture that looks like exactly like him? Your family is in America. Oh, uh, that was, I think that was a, that was an edit. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long has Tatiana been here? Either way, that yeah, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell in that picture, anyway. Yeah. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. That was dumb. The last of my Reese's fast break. It is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. No. I'm not going. It's too Our late. mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov. Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. You weren't going to. Be sent to the yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you run America. The US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but... Even I don't want to. To the United States, <laughs> I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. Why? One four I mean, four seven nah, five. You see that? Would. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what he's good at. Yeah. Scientist. And he does have the monocle. Yeah. To be honest, Attached to a like, cartridge. We'll save piercing. you, but in return, you gotta give us a little something, and Every you know. Day. Well, they already have his family. Oh, yeah. No, they Just can use that, too. go there. Without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. No, that's just what you get in communist Russia. Did you see that frequency on the poster behind him? No. 14475. I know you said it. Okay. Okay. I was talking about his his quandary. Space race between America and what a quandary. Yeah. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. I mean, yeah. And compensated. <laughs> Please, watch over my family. I think this reminds me of a high M Daisy thing that they had the pictures of the kid and the wife, and it was oh, like they're that, really that creepy. may have been it. Yeah, that may <laughs> be what I'm thinking of. I'm gonna have to look for it now. And not this. Hi, not that. The, the no. artist. It's the only high M Daisy I think of. Oh, I'll find it. Don't worry. What's poppin'? Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, what? You're way bigger than the Major. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. Obviously. <laughs> I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter.
fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. <laughs> go, boss, go. I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form yeah. of close quarters combat. He and I developed... Yeah, he's seen it a bunch of times. Yeah. Splendid. I guess he doesn't really pay attention. I'll take it from here. I just told them to stay out of it. Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. No. He's just in a locker. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think if Snake helped develop CQC, he'd be better at it. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. I, I like to think that the boss is just really cool and good the boss, at everything. Yeah, the <laughs> boss just owns, so... They both don't like seeing Snake get beat up. I mean, uh... For everyone who's never seen it. The high M Daisy. Ooh, and MGS3 the kidneys. Yep. Comic that I just sent you guys in the on the Discord chat. Okay. So. okay. It's hard to believe that this man had just survived a nuclear explosion not two days ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a week ago. I don't remember the timeline. Kojima originally wanted the scene to go on for about 20 more minutes, but... Um... A couple of his producers stepped in real quick. I don't know if people want to see Snake get beat up for 20 minutes. He eventually caved. I mean, you get this and then you get the torture. Sure, let's save. Oh, it's 2021 already, guys. Can't believe it. Oh, wow. This is all Raiden's fault. This is all Raiden's <laughs> fault. Yep. What if we dragged Raiden's uh, body all the way in front of the hallway so he would have seen it coming in? Awkward. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! <laughs> Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never do that. You! You monster. There's some meaty sound effects there. Yeah, ew, squish. I guess he's dead. Now then, I hope you'll prove more entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've Awful. certainly seen your share of battles. 
consider yourself. You've like certainly you seen your share of Big Macs. Show you what hell is really <laughs> like. Well then. That'd be if they were talking about me. Mm -hmm. What is your target? Man, you're healing as you're getting hit. Is it the <laughs> or oh, my stamina is all right. I guess. Maybe it's the legacy. No, but you can see the <laughs> yeah, no. the bar Absolutely. moving up. Um, Saying my stamina is okay, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I'd heal. I just think it's neat. You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits, and I am a patient man. Are you? Probably when it comes to torture, I bet he is. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Well, maybe he's not, because I feel like he kills everybody before. Yeah. He's usually dealing with scientists, though, well, so... Well, was he really gonna, you know... I think he feels, at least for that one, he's like, am I really gonna keep him alive? Then again, who knows? Answer me! How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy. Ocelot's Aren't like, they? hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is pretty I like cool. Torture. <laughs> I don't know if I like this torture, but I must, but I don't know. I think he's just Aww. upset that he might not be able to do his thing, that he's just been planning yeah. and practicing in the mirror for weeks. That's Aww. what I want to see. It's no use. He's not going to talk. You idiot. He's been trained <laughs> not to break. Why does he still have his radio on him? So oh. everyone can hear. Oh, it's because... snake, like the actual battery pack uh, or it's probably because it's just the model. The right there. Yeah. By the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Well, it's under my bed where I left it. One hundred billion dollars. <laughs> up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No, no, I hear him. <laughs> no matter. The philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the okay. underground vault of Groznikrat. Why would you say it, you fool? <laughs> you literally. This interrogation <laughs> is going so well, actually. Oh, my God. It's weird that he's interrogating, but leaving all the information for us. Also, it's weird that he just lets everybody walk in. Who's responsible for this? There are no secrets here. I am. See? I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was going to be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. You should put the Ocelot, Ocelot cat call on the soundboard. The <laughs> yeah. I'm I please. ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. <laughs> He's like, no, yes. get away from me. <laughs> what do you want me to do? No. Let's see. Cut out his eyes. <laughs> I don't like those blue eyes of his. You all have blue eyes. Every <laughs> single <laughs> one of you. Soldier than his eyes. <laughs> you made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it. <laughs> She's him, like, just as he did the cobras. 
Be like, can we compromise and maybe cut off an ear? <laughs> He's wearing my bandana. <laughs> Happy stab. Stop. What is I mean, I think you can you? easily accidentally kill someone that way. Mm -hmm. well, oh, totally. Well. Why are you protecting him? Or lobotomize them. What smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No, I have no interest in this woman. Or women in general. I want yeah. to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wait, what are the rules? You didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Baka. <laughs> there, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. Come, we're going to my room. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Dear, dear. Oh, shit. I forgot to have you do the R1. Oh, uh, whoops. Because the boss does the little hand thing. Oh, that's right. There you go. He tells it to you anyway. Run. I can't. You shot my leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, the waterworks ended really quickly. Yep. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. This is a lot of information. <laughs> the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch.
She really did a number on him, huh? <laughs> this dog of mine, I swear. Why? I put the boxes in the way of the... Uh, what do you call it? Of the windows? Window? And he's like, moved one aside so he could peek through. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do this. Aww. Let's call Sigan. Yeah. Snake, the door of the cell is set up to open when it receives a radio signal on a certain frequency. If you only knew the frequency, you could use your radio to open the door. Hmm. Neat. Use every Snake, frequency. The door oh. of the cell is set up to... Um... Wait. Yeah, I know. Snake wasn't like, oh, I can call the door. Corny and the lens are severely damaged, and the eyeball is ruptured. So. So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, Snake. I wish there was something I could do. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. I don't doubt you. But don't do anything crazy, okay? From here on, it's going to be difficult to see out of your right eye. Attacking in first person view will feel a little different from before. Be careful. Hmm. Isn't there a... Mm -hmm. Snake? Major, you're all right. <laughs> I wouldn't say all right, but at least I'm alive. That's good enough. But they took all my weapons and equipment from me. Well, you've still got your radio and medical items with you. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Perhaps Volgin's not finished with you just yet. Yeah, well, I'm not finished with him yet either. Snake, you've got to escape from that cell somehow. There must be a way. Use your head. Literally. S swear, Sigint. Snake. Okay, weird. What? Had a thing. This is important, oh. though. The fork is good. Yes, the fork is good. Uh, is that just straight in my inventory? Yes, it is. It should be. Um, I'm <laughs> just imagining a rat on a fork. Oh, the bat. Eat the bat. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> oh. You can talk to him. What? I think. Or maybe not. What's all that noise? What are you doing? Dancing. <laughs> Just be quiet. No. What's going on here? You know what's going on. <laughs> this man's crazy. Huh? <laughs> huh? I, I, Katie, I think this is... I thought this was where the Sigint conversation happens. Let's save anyways. Ready to save, Snake? The Sigint? The Sigint conversation. You know the one. I don't... think it's here. Okay. Snake? Uh, uh, Snake? My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? Uh, feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying, The time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this... The master spreads his huge wings, and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula! Exactly! 
If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <laughs> you better not leave me without someone to talk to. <laughs> Please, Snake, think. <laughs> There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. So, I don't think we can do that. Wait, what? However... Huh? I wasn't acting up. <laughs> Watch my fork action. <laughs> but however, I can do this. Weird. Memory cards. I don't remember that on the PS3. Hmm. Time to go to bed, Snake. <laughs> hmm. Uh... <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Is he Renfield? Maybe. Renfield killing the police and zombies? Renfield said, fuck the police. <laughs> I think, yeah, they say police on their backs. Yep. Yeah, it does. Renfield said, all cops are bastards. Uh, I think there's a button to oh. do stuff. Oh, there's a dodge button. Yeah, his hair is also turning white. Well, there's that. Your um, body's changing color. And now you're back to normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, there's a lock on. Hi. Some oh, point. I like, like that they sound bear. like bears. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There you go. And a lion. <laughs> nice, we can like split their ridge ca rib cages open. It's pretty. Yeah, rad. that's what I I remember that. <laughs> uh, most of the environment in this is, is destructible, so that's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. I believe this was just a like a tech demo though for a game they were possibly making. Yeah. I mean it's an awful nightmare. I never experienced that before. Yep. <laughs> I don't think they had another 3DS one either. Nope. It's both PS2 versions. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at all that food they threw me. Oh, wow. <laughs> In this version of... Time to eat. Thanks, buddy. Freeze. Hey. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Knock it off! Aww. Wait, can I... Can I do a cool thing with this? Um... I don't think in first-person view. That was the only time you could do it. Oh, maybe. I thought... I don't remember. I can find him. Oh, you're getting hungry. 
Let's, uh, let's just wake up really quick. There we go. Ah! What a nightmare. We are on easy mode. Very easy, even. With an easy gun. <laughs> <laughs> um... I was kind of gonna, kind of thinking to wait for him to come back, but. Oh, you gotta, you gotta spin the, um, the the controller. What? Not the controller, the the stick. <sighs> Hold on. Huh? Where'd he go? Knock it off! <laughs> Knock it off! I'm getting in trouble! I think what I need to do, though, I think I actually might need to restart this. In order to for him to have the quote-unquote nightmare. Because I think that's when we can have our chat with Sigan. Oh, maybe. You just missed the dream, Tarks. Yeah. You just missed it. Uh, should I... Do you want to look that up real quick, uh, Katie? Equip first person view and press the L1 button to aim precisely. You can also use the right analog stick to do tricks. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Johnny. Oh, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, oh, I there can't he hold goes. Anymore. This is right stick. Uh, uh, hold on. Well, that's what it says in the thing. So. It's coming out. Play with right stick in first person view. Here it comes. There we go. There I don't. Go. I shouldn't be aiming. Still going. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> That's a record. Take a picture, dude. Will this even flush? Well, he did say flush, but oh no, he says oh geez. It is Johnny's grandpa, yes. Yes. Um, double check that second uh, conversation for me, real, real quick. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Con uh, otherwise, Tark, the only thing you've missed is high level gameplay. Maybe I'll take a nap. What's everyone's opinion on Johnny? Oh, Joe, you're just uh, in prison uh, listening to a man poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't control that. He's just being loud about it. <laughs> I tell it, Anne. Um, uh, Johnny's fine. It's it's a funny it's a funny bit. Um, my my opinions change in Metal Gear Solid Four, but we won't talk about that because we'll we'll get there eventually. Hey, buddy. I honestly didn't know there was a Johnny in the game. In this. It's a running gag. Yeah, it's a, he's like a running gag. Oh, wait. I know what we can do. Huh? Uh -huh. What? You don't want this? I'll eat the frog then. Jeez. I guess I'll feed on a tree frog. Huh? What's all that noise? What are you doing? Shut up in there, will you? Just be quiet. Yeah, kid, I kind of agree. The poop jokes are kind of like, okay, 
it's a poop <laughs> joke, but also, like, in a very serious game, I think the juxtaposition is funny. That Kojima's just like, yeah, no, poop jokes, totally. I think that's kind of funny. Um, that's funnier than the poop jokes themselves. Um, I kind of wish we were talking to this man about his wife and kids, though. Yeah, you shouldn't have eaten that frog, man. The frog man. Um, so I'm curious if I need to uh, quit and then reload the save. Maybe. I mean, I'm trying to find it. We'll do another save real quick and then just try it. Saving the game? So yeah, Ryan, the way to get to that um, nightmare is uh, you need to save in jail and then turn the system off and then reload that save. Yeah, I, and I played this on PS2 probably. That's probably the system I, I got it on. Mm -hmm. And I never did that or never knew about it. They probably just kept playing in the, in the jail cell and then mm -hmm. moved on. Snake, the door of the cell is set up. We know that. Should I call the frequency? This is this is up to everybody, including people in chat. Should I just call the frequency, or should I wait until we have a conversation together? Here's number two. Chat time. Doesn't matter to me. Huh? Hate that. We forgot to call him while we had the box. We'll get it back. Huh? We better find him another box. What's all that noise? A novelization of Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater written by Satoshi Hase was produced, uh, was published by Kotakawa Shoten in Japan on January 25th, 2014. Wow. I wonder how it dealt with this scene. Yeah, I'm curious myself. <laughs> I would love if it went to like some sort of like completely different like vampire story for a quick second and then Snake wakes up. Oh, oh my stomach. Oh, no. Maybe it happens after this. Oh, oh I can't hold it anymore. Oh, what? His story. No, because I think it's on the topic of nightmares. I mean, yeah. Here it comes. Oh yeah, dude. Wow. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> I honestly completely forgot about this <laughs> this conversation <laughs> that you said it, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, that. I alluded to it in, un in another stream, and I thought, like, I, no, of, like, I the things that stick out in Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, it's that demo that they throw in there for the Nightmare. Mm hmm Um, that codec call. And, uh, Ocelot's Meow. Mm-hmm. Hello? Are you going? There you are. Yeah, this might just prolong it. Katie, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to... Throw this food back and see what happens, and then. Hey, hey, I mean, you can try. Have to give them the food again. I mean, okay. I don't, yeah. I don't know what else to do. Oh, nice. Well, oh. I got a, an well, achievement for it. So, hey, th thanks, Turks. Well, you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not hungry. Yep, you were right, Tarks. Good, good call. Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh, I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. The whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the Colonel wasn't looking. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here. Huh? Well, I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. My bad, my bad. I've said too much. I gotta go. <sighs> uh, tell it and no. There's two other times you could see a frequency, at least that we've seen, which is um, mm -hmm. in the cutscene right. Bo oh, our six spray is full. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Um, uh, in the cutscene right before you get beat up by Volgan. It's on uh, one of the, like, there's a blueprint behind him. It's on there, and then also, as the boss is giving you the revolver, if you do R1, you can see the sorrow with that frequency. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is great. Thanks, nice. Johnny. I'll just call the frequency then. Oops. Is that 14475? Mm-hmm. In the back of the picture with his kids. Where you at? Don't worry, Johnny. We got your back. Yeah. What? Did you manage to escape? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm out. <laughs> Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. You Eva doubting the fork? Covered your equipment, so <laughs> I know. Seriously, the <laughs> doubt. We can hold people up with the Use gun, I think. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Hello. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Uh, there it is. There it is again. Turn all. Hmm. Hey, a camera. Nice. Yay. All right, Johnny, and you go. Just we'll keep one. you safe until the place blows up. Well, 
Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. Get some calisthenics done. <laughs> oh, the blood's gonna rush to his head. <laughs> Johnny died of a headache. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, the best uh, item in the game is wake up and like his feet will be asleep, and then he'll get the pins and needles. And... Oh god, yeah. yeah. The torture you've just made him go through. No, no. And he gave us six spray things. I mean, to be fair, he didn't know it was six spray. Oh, is this his room? I guess. Johnny. Johnny. John. What, what, you want yeah, me to bring him in his room? everywhere and posters and... Great job. Do you want me to put him in his room so he's nice and comfortable? <laughs> no, I like it where his feet are up like that. <laughs> okay, good. Um, let's do this, too. You want to save? Hold on a sec. This should save after... Well, you know what? Actually... Okay, good luck. Let's save outside. Outside. Uh, Ryan, you can learn that too once you're a high level game player like me. They're in. Do you want to save? What am I learning? Rolling through doors. <laughs> oh. It was a bad joke. I, I was can... trying to think of a funny, smart-ass response besides just saying, you can roll through doors, but <laughs> the time has passed. Nope. Never. It's a spaghetti western. Spaghetti western? It's like, what, what is she talking about? I love spaghetti. It's full dollars. Stylish gunplay. Gunplay. I saw it in England on the Major's recommendation, but it hasn't come out in the States yet. It's so cool. They'll bring it to America, I'm sure. You have to see it sometime. Sure. That was a quick straight applied to her. Sure, oh yeah, definitely watch that, totally. Sure. I don't see nobody. Make sure oh, there's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Literally as you turn the corner. Uh that's one of my like it's a it's a small part, but in Shaun of the Dead when they're looking out the mailbox being like, oh, looks clear. Oh, wait, no, there they are. And there's just a shit ton to the right. <laughs> uh, that is one of my favorite parts. I love Shaun of the Dead. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've that watched movie, that movie in a long time. I feel like that movie Same. still holds up just fine. So I'm thinking I just run up to this guy and spray him in the face. It's just, okay, there he goes. Bye. If there's one, there's going to be more. Impossible. Look, there's no one around. Okay. We're good. Beating up zombies to queen is... Yeah, you're right. That is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, And then, like, do it on beat, too. <laughs> yeah, that's the other one there. Tark said it. Hot Fuzz is the other one that I was thinking that. I was like, those movies were made by the same people, the same kind of comedy. Mm -hmm. And both of them, I think, would probably hold up pretty well. Uh, did you ever see... I should watch them again. Did you ever see um, uh, The World's End? I did not. Is that the same type of... That's the, that's... the same guys. Yep. Edgar Wright, the it's director, uh, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost. Isn't it like part of their quote-unquote trilogy? Yes, the uh, Neapolitan trilogy, they called it. Mm -hmm. Is it those three movies? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think the... What is it called? The World is End or something? The World the World's, the world's end. end? Yeah, that's what... Mm -hmm. I think that's on Netflix. I think so. I will find them. We'll do it! <laughs> Did not see him. What's he gonna do? Alright, how long until I mess this up? Probably pretty soon, because I thought someone was coming around the corner. Where are they? The other way. Oh, it's just the light. Never mind. No, oh, there there's was... a guy right there, though. Where? 
Uh, there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do I describe this really quickly? <laughs> Here he's asleep. Oh. We'll be fine. Serpentine. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> I'm assuming I can't get in there. Ah! <laughs> like every time you turn around, there's something else. We'll be fine. I'm sure everyone in chat is talking about how great of a job I'm doing. World's End is meh, but the others are great. Yeah, I, I, I think World's End is fine. Um, I think it's it's got its moments that are really good. Uh, I also did like the the moral in there a lot. Uh-oh, puppies. I forgot they had puppies. Excuse Aww. me. Sorry, it was just a gentle pet. It was a big hug, and you tackled each other, and it was adorable. Yep. In we go. They cannot get in. No. It's impossible. So they'll never to, find you. It's impossible for them to get under there. We're good. Oh, look, a hole. Mm hmm. And that's where you need to go. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Thanks. <laughs> that's where you find all of your gear in a treasure chest in the sewers? No. No. Snake, you're already in the sewers? Eva. Yeah, I just. This is where we switched to Ryan and Ryan. I'm sorry. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake? Let uh, me guess. There's a We problem. were just riding. Yeah. What is it this time? And then we got caught. And then the we got caught. Found out you escaped. He did, huh? No, really. I figured as much. Yeah. And now all of Grasp is red out. <laughs> He's like, I guess so. I was caught while escaping. You can't get out. I can't. When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is, is sealed off too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? We'll be uh -huh. fine. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. He sounded really mad about that. Exit sealed off. Like more gruff, right. gruff than. We do have bullets now. We can yeah. kill things if we want. And we have ooh. That's nice. That's quite nice. Um, well, I don't really want to kill nothing, so we'll be all right. Yeah. You've got your fork if you need it. Snake can make it downstairs. Mm-hmm. Naked snake can make it downstairs. You're right. I do have my fork. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. What is the purpose of that? I don't know. From a structural standpoint. Is that a speed hole to make this fortress go faster? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I can eat some... Was that this crap? is a good is piece a of forcing the narrative. Teladon says this is a good piece of forcing the narrative. Doesn't matter if you sneak through the previous part, they're now actively hunting you. Yeah. Yep. Look at all these frogs. This is a delicious frog. <laughs> Fat little frogs. And Rit. Has Simon Pegg been in anything else good besides... Um... Recently? I don't know. I do remember that there's dogs all around in here. Yeah, I mean, I... Plus, checking your cell is a realistic measure uh, to alert guards. Yeah, it's, um... Mm -hmm. I don't want to say convenient because that makes it sound lazy, but it's a it's a good it's a well well thought out uh, mm -hmm. method of moving things forward. It's a good story way of doing it, where it's realistic oh, in shit. terms of ah. Ah, yeah. doggy. The dogs do crawl under. I do remember that. No, there are they are big holes, so I guess that's fair. Yep. As opposed to that pipe, which was just impossible to get under. Yeah. The dogs don't go in the water though. I don't want to get wet. I'm just saying. Bowser doesn't like going in the water either. 
No, poor guy just stands stands stock still in the shower. (laughs) Star Trek, that's it. Yeah, he was, um, that's right. He was in Star Trek. Oh, Oh, yeah, he was in Star Trek, wasn't he? Mission Impossible, also. I I keep forgetting he was in Mission Impossible. Was he in 3? I really like 3 with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I thought he was a great villain. I don't know. Wait, who are we talking about? Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. Oh, yeah, he's Scotty. Scotty. And he's a tech guy in, uh, I think at least at least two of them. Does anybody remember the movie of the fugitive? <laughs> <laughs> Ocelot does not care that Snake didn't kill his wife. No. What good dogs! They're just staying right there. Yeah, good dogs. What good video game dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting He's so for this. excited. <laughs> Nobody fucking dork. Oh, he's gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> He really probably just landed on the back of his head yeah. <laughs> and his shoulder blades. I mean, kind of, I guess, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryan, this is the sorrow. Yeah. Let's see how many dudes we accidentally killed. I don't think much. I think maybe like five or six. Maybe. I think we've been okay with that. I may have accidentally killed a dude when I was trying to shoot uh, the end. Because he was standing in the way. Oh, yeah. Are you one of the Cobras? Was there a dude you rolled into or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he fell. So sad. There's a few of them. <laughs> I don't want to miss this, but I'm out of booze, so I'm going to wait until this is Wait until we start walking. Yeah. I am the sorrow. Like you, I too am filled with sadness. This world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Death brings sorrow. The living may not hear them. Their voices may fall upon deaf ears, but make no mistake. The dead are not silent. Now you will know the sorrow of those whose lives you have ended.
Tell it, and he's always worn uh, glasses. That's how that glass keeps breaking. Mm-hmm. Um... But how can we kill that which is already dead? Look at all these animals. You know, the fish I, I remember. Because we threw some grenades at... Uh, we overthrew some grenades at the pain. I mean, you also ate. Yeah, so many You're meals. Right. You're right. That's fair. Or how many? Here's yeah, rotten. Guy. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three. That's it. Four. <laughs> oh, we've been keeping, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh hell yeah! <laughs> that doesn't count, though. I, I don't remember four. that. <laughs> I don't remember the chit-chattering skull. <laughs> what happened? There was something we could do at the end. Uh, yeah, don't you see him in a wheelchair? You were saying, I think I feel like I remember that. Or we flip that. him over. The end? Like... You mean the sorrow? No, you see the end in no. a wheelchair. He's like floating down. B man still Whee! does flips in death. Nice, dude. Nice flip. Hey, dude, nice flip. And I guess all these guys die anyways, no matter if you shoot them, because they blow up, so. I mean, yeah. Uh -oh. I mean, they do Five. calm down the... Well, there goes the fear. Six, seven. One was a helicopter pilot. I do remember we shot down a helicopter. Yeah, we oh, did. Oh, the skulls are the best! <laughs> I like that they actually make little chattering noises. Yeah, I don't. I do not remember that. Kitty says, "I feel like every time you say the end, it starts the who's on first routine." <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. Hey, buddy. What's poppin'? Hey, man. Later, dude. Bye. Brazilian oh. wandering spider. That's a pretty clean run, though, compared to some other ones that I've done. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's way more dudes. Except for this guy right oh here. Oh my god, look at all these Hell animals. Yeah. It's metal. How did we kill this many fish? Well, I wonder if this counts with the, um... The nuclear explosion that happened. Oh yeah, we did kill the fire guy. Nine. Whoa. That might... That might be it. Yeah, there were nine people. I didn't count the bosses. I didn't see the end. Grandpa! There we go. Yeah, he's just floating by. Oh, the parakeet! Why is the parakeet dead? <gasps> You're right. No. Oh, Tarks, be careful with that. That's spoilers if we ever play Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> oh, man. It's okay. Oh, I thought. Oh, just... 9, 10, 11, 12. <gasps> Alright, hey. hey, I didn't kill nobody with a vulture. Oh! Yeah, if he shoots you with his ghost mm -hmm. laser, he gets you like that. Maybe. Maybe that's the. Maybe because I ate the vulture, uh, that was who the vulture ate. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not counting cool. that. that. I do that's know cool, that it's if you kill well, someone you. around where the vultures are, if you knock them out, the vultures will start eating them. I gotta love the skulls. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this might be the last one because I don't think I killed anybody after uh, the Fury. The Fury? Also, fuck you, Fury. I hate you. Yeah, that was a rough fight. Yeah. Granted, we're doing it on the harder, kind of like beating them with the, uh, you know. I like the Sorrows fight. I don't know, it's just cool. <laughs> the Chitter Chatter Skulls! I swear <laughs> I would have remembered that! 
Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I feel like there are too many people to even see that. Maybe. Oh, that was uh, the Sorrow's body over there. Yeah. I just kind of walked right into you. I'm not counting again. We're fine. Oh, really? What? Oh, that was the end. No, that was the sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I gotcha. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then... God, how good would the boss game be if it ended with that, like, or something? Or that was part of it? We'll always be with you. Sorry, Katie. Don't be sad. <laughs> I'm listening to sorrow. I don't know what you're saying. That how good would the boss game be if it ended with that? If there was ever a boss game, I'd freak the fuck out. I know it won't happen, and that at this point, I've come to terms with that. Mm -hmm. I have no hopes. So how many? What was the total count, Ryan? Oh. Twelve? All right. That's not mm -hmm. bad. And could you take that revival pill like right at the beginning of the fight? No, I think you have to die. And I think you have to die to the sorrow at the end. Mm hmm. Mm. Like as if if all the the other guys like drain you of your life force, I think that you just die and you have to start the the walk over again. So when you get your stuff, you gotta go back out here. Oh, yes. I still really don't remember the sorrow. This is boss fight. And maybe it's because you really never shoot him? No, there he is. But I, I would think I would still remember, like, the whole cinematic and everything. And I was thinking maybe I was reading a guide and took Probably. the revival pill right at the beginning and just, like, skipped the whole boss fight, if that was possible. Snake, but if not, then I guess I would have played through it. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo, I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole thing is That's a cool thing to shot. say. We're counting on mm -hmm. you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? I almost died. <laughs> I took a freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. 
We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Tark, that's a good point. Um, is mm -hmm. the sorrow the uh, the most well-meaning of the cobras? Hold on, let's just eat this he... marklor or whatever it is. Come here. Oh, it is. Aww. Straight into my mouth. Oh, it, it isn't. It just dies. It's too big <laughs> to go straight in your mouth. It's mushrooms, well. Yes, they will. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> the end. I f the end was the other one that I was thinking because um, uh, the end just wakes up and it's like, okay, time to fight. I don't know what I'm doing, but so I feel like it's not like he's not evil, but none of them are necessarily evil. They're just doing what they're told to do. For the boss, they're basically just following the boss until, quote unquote, the end. I didn't notice the eyes were hearts. I didn't either until you. Oh, maybe they're not. It's not. Maybe it's just polygons. I thought they they, they still look like hearts. Well, let me see. Can not you zoom in? Uh, Up here they do. Above it, yes. I think that is just they polygons bending the. Yeah. Um. So, uh, if we didn't take out that transmitter in jail, then we'd, there would be a whole bunch of uh, ocelot units here. Mm hmm Because they know where we oh. are. And then, along with that, how the boss is, like, how every, the guys on Cobra aren't really that bad. I mean, the, f the pain and the fear, I mean, again, are just being told what they're doing, but seem more evil just because of the emotions that they chose to mm -hmm. portray their... Yeah fighting style, Carry I guess. into battle. Mm -hmm. Alright. We've had bad success. We've had no success with eating proper things, so I'm just gonna eat this crab. Turn that way, Snake. Thank you. There we go. Right in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about uh, getting some crab legs at some point and making some crab. Yeah. Because I was watching uh, uh, Danny's stream of Fight Crab and I was like, man... <laughs> if I just buy one of them, like the the crackers, the the things the that crack cracker. the yeah, yeah, um, make some like garlic butter or something. I feel like they're not hard to make or cook. No, it's you just kind of steam them. I just need a big uh big pot. Yeah, I got big pots. Just a thought. I might want to. I might try it. I know they're expensive, but it would be a nice, classy Ooh, meal for myself. Get some on a sale. Yeah. All right. Um. Look at all these fish. A cornucopia of meals. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never go hungry again. <laughs> this is just where Snake lives now. You get more health as you go on throughout the game. Might be uh, only one. I feel like Metal Gear Solid One is the only one that does that. I feel like you had like exactly half your stamina as health. Oh, maybe. Then. And now it looks like you have a little bit more. Then you might be right. It does go up. That's cool. Yeah. Oh Kit. yes, this awkward scene. I'm gonna yeah. go get more booze. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Kit, I've never made a. I've never made a crab, so I would like to try it. I think. Although if you leave the train, but I have a feeling it's it's pretty much just boiling it. Yeah. If you leave the crab, not the crab. If you leave the crab, <laughs> if you leave the transmitter in your body, uh, it does have a pretty good scene here. I just remember that, but oh well. How can you leave it in? You just don't pull it out with a fork. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. We did it in jail. I don't know if you saw, if you caught that. We also pulled out a for a long time. We also pulled out a revival pill. You could use a towel. Uh, in case we accidentally used it before there. 
God, Snake's smile is so awkward. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna run to the bathroom myself, actually, so yep, I will be right me back. Too. Potty break! So, we'll be back, uh, shortly. Like, two minutes. Okay, back. What happened? Okay. Ugh. I come back and there's no, it's sitting on data save and no one's talking. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> we had, uh, well, we all went to the bathroom, so. Mm. Uh, I'll wait for Ryan to start. Hello, Takashi0323. Hello. Joe abandoned us. You have to entertain us now, Katie. Oh, no. <laughs> Joe stepped out. Joe wanted to go get some crab meat. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Uh, save. I didn't miss the awkward thing, did nope, I? Nope, you didn't. I realized, Damn though, it. we could have made it better if we left the... <laughs> left the scene going? No, if we... <laughs> <laughs> Just... No, if we left the transmitter in. Oh, uh, well, oh well. Yeah. We get the boxing sound effects. Come on, so finish you really the food. Touched it. Yeah. Three. Want some? Knees. Look at these knees. <laughs> Don't like snakes. Not for dinner. <laughs> Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind French of French or Italian thing. snakes, huh? Oh, <laughs> the least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating <laughs> <you. laughs> I don't understand what you mean. Cannibal! <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, boy. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly. You've heard about it from fish. Paramedic, you fool. Raw fish. Just the place for my survival techniques. Oh my god. <laughs> Sushi. I've been eating raw fish the whole time. Aww. Oh no, he's hearing things. Thank you, Snake. Did he miss the butterfly? Because he has like no depth perception now, or something. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Poor Snake.
I don't like Katie. Apparently, care about Tatiana this, but... is everyone's girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, not to not to ruin the tender moment. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Are you all right? <laughs> it's not like I, can't see. I've got one good I mean, I thought it was stone. Fine. They're not even in the concrete yet. Good. She's got to be freezing. Yeah, she's got to be freezing she's her been, ass off. She's been in clothes all day, whereas Snake, I feel like, is just kind of like so dumb he doesn't realize when it's cold or hot. He probably has hypothermia, yeah. honestly. C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. No. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> he doesn't, I guess. <laughs> He just doesn't think about it. Well, whatever. The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. <laughs> so I should blow up the tanks. Tarks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. I'll there mention what he said. In, <laughs> in order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Blow up the scientists or have them kill the scientists. Either way, the scientists are screwed. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Huh? Helping you out. Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Mm hmm. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. <laughs> I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. 
I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh. Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that Delete for? that. I wasn't ready. To make sure you don't double cross me. Wait, I've got a camera too. Hold on. Wait, wait, let me get it out. <laughs> Take your helmet. Oh no, wait, no, turn around. No way. <laughs> You're gonna get wet again. Something Ben Shapiro never tells his wife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm oh, sorry. I'm so no. sorry. I'm so sorry. Boo. I'm done. I'm done. He's All not. Right. Well, he can't be married. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, finally, I can. Tark says uh, Snake is thinking yep. about starting a men's club in the jungle for men only, no women. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. We we have one important mission before I might. Well, maybe we'll get to the lab again, and then we might call it there. Um, just to because then. Essentially, the la the next one will be the last one. What the hell is that? I don't know. It should be on the ground, though. It's not in the sky. And I would hope not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that's I, I try my best not to do timely jokes because if somebody's watching this later, it's gonna it's not really gonna hold up. But I felt like insulting him is okay. You should probably get your trank too. Oh, that's right. I have stuff now. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably don't need the Mark Horror. Nah, you filled yourself up on... charred, broiled snake and... part of a fish. Do not need the knife if we have the fork. Oh yeah, no, you don't need the knife. Hmm... <laughs> Mmm. Sure. Nope. I think the book instead. Oh, wait, I still have the Markor. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then. Thermals. Thermgus. Croc cap. Actually, of course. Actually, the thermals will probably help you find it. Yeah. All I know is that it's like in a patch in the grass, so. But it should be somewhere. Immediately, or is it further? I think it's closer to where you came from initially. Okay. Sorry, Ryan, we're looking for a fat snake. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> It might not sound like much, but I I, I I promise you, the chunky lad would be worth it, but just not popping up. Maybe it's like a spawn chance? No, it's supposed, I mean, it's supposed to come up after this. Hmm. Maybe I'll save here and take a look uh, Maybe. when I'm not. Streaming. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm just kind of roaming around here. Yeah. Wasting everybody's time. Hello. Hey, thanks for the follow, Raving Savage. Yeah, thank you. All right. That says a lot if you followed while we were. <laughs> You need to do stuff prior to this area before the snake. Ah, dang it. Oh, well. That sounds right. That sounds like some Metal Gear stuff. I was very much ready for that snake, though, but oh, well. Hmm. Now I've got to do editing. Sorry. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm 
take a look in the chat. Oh, I should get some mushrooms. Because I've been using my batteries quite a bit. And some people are saying you can catch it to around where you get the fear or the end, and I'm like, I don't... I don't know. I thought, yeah, I thought there were multiple places to grab it, but... I mean, there are, yeah. Another and box. Somebody replied to that saying, Suchi no go, question, question, question. Yay, you got another box. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, we'll be fine now. In the box. You should probably do that. What? Oh, yeah, we should do that, huh? Mm-hmm. So we haven't done it yet. Um... Jesse would be so disappointed with how little croc cap there was in this session. I mean, you can only do so much. That idea Sokolov had of planting C3 on the liquid fuel tanks. Not a bad idea. The fuel he was referring to is probably UDMH, unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine. It's highly flammable but difficult to handle. Uh, is backseating allowed or tips? I'll take tips, um, if, especially if, if we're looking for something like that, and and you know. Um, other than that, um, like maybe a direction for Easter eggs and stuff like that. Other than that, just kind of just playing through. Um, I don't mind tips here and there. Second, look at the box. Yeah, it says not too far from the fall should be your Tsuchinoko in plain view. For us to make our escape. So I heard. Uh -huh. The ground effect vehicle or wig is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the it's Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The WIG's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field-tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Yeah, but what about my box? <laughs> you know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? Oh, that's okay, Sagan. I, I just want to talk about the box right now. <laughs> uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah, and then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe, like this is where I was meant to be, like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box, <laughs> then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the major strange? Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Uh, there it is. Um, you can get teleported to the hangar directly via hopping in a truck next to where you went into the sewer and equipping the cargo box B. Ooh, so okay, they, they do bring that back mm -hmm. then. That's right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that that was a thing to do in this. Um... I don't know, should I go back and try for the snake or what? I mean, you can just check right by the falls. It says it should be right by the falls, but All right. if you don't see it, then... One last look. Then... I don't know where it's at. What game was it? Is it this one? Where, um... If you wear the box, it's a speedrunning tech. Or if you wear the box, uh, slopes don't, um... Uh affect your speed. It might be this one, I forget. I don't remember. Two extremely helpful uniforms stuff. stored. Nice. 
Okay, then I'll, I'll make sure to do that, because I was just going to beeline it there, but... Um, Alright, so... There's a thing down there, I guess. It's close to the... Oh! Oh! No, he was just... No. Ah, you tricked me. Alright. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't... I, my, my guess is that you don't have to go that far, so... Okay, well... Snake was a sneaky one. Oh, well. Well, maybe we'll do the uh, the suggestion in the chat and then uh, see where that takes us. Save it there so we can save the... Um... Oh, you have to kill all the animals in the specific area and he should spawn? I thought you just had to go out here. Because we didn't set a trap. It should... I thought it was just supposed to spawn. You've got your fork. I do have my fork. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. I might have to... Nah, let's have an executive decision on that. That's fine, whatever. Maybe I'll do that off-stream. You'll get it on the PS2 one that you have. I could. That's not gonna give me the achievement. I mean, no. You want to save? So I'll save a separate um, save here, and then we'll save That's fine. over this... Yeah, that'll work. Ryan has lost interest. Have you seen the movie them? Sorry, it's getting okay. late. It's about these it's okay. giant ants that appear in the desert of New Mexico after a nuclear test. The army tries to fight them off with flamethrowers. The ants were so big that they filled up the entire screen. The whole movie theater was screaming. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good deal. Yeah, well, if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. Just like a girl who gone. <laughs> You've been paranoid about a crash? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, PS3 has been pretty good about it, but I should probably do multiple saves pretty often. Or separate saves. Like uh, alternating saves, that's it. But we're here. We made it. Mm -hmm. I also have another, uh, the PS2 game, so I could show off the, the nightmare. Um, kind of going alongside this. I wasn't really planning on doing any more with that one, because I don't think there's any other changes. Uh, oh, wait, I might actually have to finish that game. For secret reasons. Mm -hmm. slide snake. Did you wanted to go back? Well, now you can't. Tough shit. It's got a smiley face there. Man, he super healed himself because he was all bruised up on yeah. his face. Yeah. What one night of sleep will do to, do to you? I guess. Ava gave him cover up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, let's go try the the box. What's this guy doing? I don't know. What is that guy doing? 
who's asleep in that corner? What corner? Puppy. Oh, it's a puppy. I forgot they roamed around. Did somebody see that or something? I'm assuming. Oh, somebody must have. There. Nice. High level gameplay. High level gameplay. Only the best for my viewers. Hmm. Let's get in there! <laughs> Cup's gonna see you! Since when is he getting up? Come on, he was sleeping. Hold on. Let's try to get that. That radio. There we go. There you go. I don't know how a snake turns around like this without um his legs like Well, he detaches his head. Yeah. And then he spins it around. Alright. Just like the exorcist. Where's that dog? That pup is right on the other side. It was right on the other side, and it's gonna see Where? you. Where? It was right on the other side of the tank. Like I saw its little paws walking across as you it's were right turning. There. All right. There was something there else is. there. Oh, there. There. Oh, there he is. I did not see the dude. I saw something going across. Well, we can. I thought it was the pup. Perhaps take. Yeah, care there of was him. a dog there too. Yep. Okay. We can maybe. Right there. Get no, him. I meant, like, walking across. So he'll fall asleep eventually. Mm -hmm. That's going to get the dog going. Does it? I don't even know. He yelps, and they do typically hear that. No, I meant the guy, when they faint, does the dog freak out about that? Mmm. Yeet. No. Yes? No. See, I don't remember either. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, what? Where? Who where? Joe. What? The other way. Whatever. Ugh. High level gameplay. Only the best for my viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best. Only the best. Uh, aw. Aw. Go play fetch. Oh. No, oh, I didn't mean Aww. to kill you. Now I feel like an asshole. This yeah. is the this is the I think the truck he was referring to. Yeah, it is because that's where the sewer is. <sighs> night night. Them with their their things. I hate them. Why don't you just leave me alone? That's well done. It's a good parry. I'll give him that. <laughs> I think Sig Spray gets through those shields. Only one way to find out. Yeah, Only one way to find I'm out. Thinking, it's I'm thinking no. Not it's not glass. Oh. So. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, good. He's knocked out. There we go. Oh, okay. Level play. gameplay says Kit. And then Raving Savage, Savage says, Just about a week or so, I did the European Extreme run of the game after almost two or so, so years of speedrunning it. Oh, you. Oh, shit. Okay. So, like, you are actually high level gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> we are not high level. <laughs> no, we are high level game. No, we're not. We're, we're fine. Hello, Nicole. We're fine. Hi, Nicole. I got a text saying animal abuse. No, he's sleeping. He's just sleeping over there. <laughs> he's sleeping. Mm -hmm. this is HQ. You gave him a break. He's sleeping instead of working. Yeah. Let's eat. What should I eat? Uh, You've got Markor up the wazoo. Yeah, more Markor. That's really good stuff. Yeah. Hey, this works. Mm-hmm. That'll help. Uh, now throw the mark other mark to the dog, so the dog has a treat when he wakes up. 
Okay. Here we go. It jumps to 99 again. I... I would get up. <laughs> With my six spray. Oops. The main wing hangar, huh? There we go. Mm -hmm. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase Two Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. Probably have to walk out of there to get the other than outfits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. Uh. For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking Yo. to blow the whole place sky <laughs> high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Could, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shock. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecue. I'll keep that. I love on. barbecue. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. We're counting on you, Snake. All right. So now, I love the the idea that they always pick up this box, but it's open on the bottom. Yes. Huh? Like move immediately. All right. Um. All right, so am I in the very back corner of this place? Mm. Or am I in the front of it? I can't tell. Mm. I'm in the back corner. Okay. Little box. Yeah, we'll plant the C4s next stream. Um, I can't wear my scientist outfit in here, I believe. No. You need to get the... That dude's. The maintenance outfits. I might. That might be one of the... Yeah, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> Are your footsteps? Do you? Perfect. Look at that. Lord him over with my with my foot steps. Wait. 
Come on, dude. Built like a tank. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, there's someone else by him, I think. Yeah. Oh, they'll just Look wake back him up. At him. He'll just wake him up. Mm. Where is? Oh, I wasn't. I was right under it. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Don't you have a radar in this one? He looked at the map and he thought he was at the other end. No, you don't have a radar. In, well, you have a, a you have the sonar, and then you have a, the radar, which just shows things that move. Yeah. And not like a map on the screen. Yeah. Stomp, 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 stomp. All right, let's see. Right, should we let Raiden out? Ah. <gasps> He's oh. turned into a box. Oh no! Oh, that is a. What is this? Thank you, Raving Savage. This is a very good one. Um, let me see. This one, I believe. That's what? No. Class. Class. Yeah. All right. Second from the top will be another. Let's look at the map to know that. Mm-hmm. Camouflage. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh huh. I think this dampens my footsteps. So people, oh, yeah. Second from the top. The one just above it. Oh, so this one? Hey. There you go. Hey. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, so tips like that are good. <laughs> um, there we go. And yeah, I think that'll do it for now. Let's get back out over here. And uh, call it a stream. Let's save first. You want to save? Hold on a sec. All right, so we don't want to save over the, over the one that we just did. Right. Snake, have you ever seen Jason and the Argonauts? I can't say I have. It's based on Greek mythology. There's this ship called the Argo, and it sets sail in search of the Golden Fleece. Along the way, it encounters many dangers. They run into all kinds of monsters, like bronze giants and the deadly seven-headed hydra and the vicious bird-like harpies. The most spectacular part of all was the battle scene with an army of skeletons. It was like they were actually standing up and fighting. Are you serious? If you don't believe me, go see it for yourself. Then you'll understand the magic of movies. It was totally amazing. Yeah, all right. If I make it back alive, I'll go see it. It just came out, so I'm sure it'll still be playing. If I make it back alive. Always leaving oh, himself yeah. an out. All right. Uh, that's going to do it tonight. Thank you, Katie and Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, Raving Savage, for uh, giving me a little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of guidance. Appreciate that. Um, next Saturday we'll do more and um, probably end this uh, Metal Gear Solid Three. And Katie will have to decide what we do after that. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll see you uh, hopefully Tuesday. Uh, mm -hmm. The vods uh, for those. Uh, that don't follow me on YouTube. Um, the vods go up uh, the day before the the next street. The day before the stream next of that day. So, date. Yeah. So like Metal Gear will go up on Friday. Uh, the last Barkley video goes up on Wednesday. So on and so forth. So, um, all right. Everybody have a good night, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye bye. Have a good night. All right. Bye.